Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. So we're diving into Genesis 11 and 12 today. Um, and I just used my Pit Artist pen to highlight the, the scripture as I read through it and then lay down a blue wash on the top with the watercolor, the Illustrated Faith watercolors with some clouds and then some hillsides, greenish hillsides at the bottom. Because as I read um, about the Tower of Babel, um, you know, it was in the valley and I just saw this, this piece of scripture. I, I really wanted to journal at first about the blessing on Abram's life. But then this piece on the Tower of Babel really struck me in the sense that the power that we could have if we had unity and not just unity amongst one another, <laughs> you know, with our own plans, but really unity with God. Uh, by the way, just using uh, my intense pencils, drawing a little tower, as I would assume it would be, and they used red uh, or brick and mortar. And then I'm just going to use an aqua brush to uh, add the detail. That's just the technical side of things. But I was, I was saying how when we have unity, not just on our own plans, but really unity with God in our plans with one another, that even God says that nothing would be impossible for us. So can we just get with the program? Goodness gracious, sometimes I think, you know, we need to be slapped upside the head a few times before we listen. <laughs> That's just my own opinion there. Don't crucify me. <laughs> um, so really just getting into the unity. Uh, well, that's what I read here about the unity. Um, and then, so I don't think God destroyed, you know, or, or scattered the people and confused them because he was afraid. I really think he was protecting us in the sense that we 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 have these own plans. These people were saying to themselves, come, let us, our plan, let us, let us. And there was nowhere to let God in there. Um, and so I think God confused us for our own um, protection in, in diversifying languages and you know, scattering us amongst the earth. Um, and I mean, that's how these beautiful cities and countries that we have today are there and cultures and, and languages. It's just gorgeous. And so, I, you know, I'm just thankful that God is always on the lookout for us, even when <laughs> when we think we can, we can, let us. <laughs> we can't do this without God. Uh, making some little scenery there on the mountain or the hill or the whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm reminded that really this should be not about the art, not about my skill in drawing or my, you know, absolutely accurate arc or clouds or anything, but that it really should be um, about spending time in the Word and, and getting, getting the message that God is trying to give us. And you know, like I said, I've written some of the, I've read some of these passages so many times before, and just really never realized what God was trying to say to me, or I would realize something one time and something else the next time. So while I was waiting for this to dry, I quickly made myself a cup of pumpkin spice latte, homemade. Hello, even with pureed pumpkin and uh, self-mixed pumpkin pie spice. I'm a little envious of you Americans in this time of fall. <laughs> so I try to hold on to uh, winter for as long as I possibly can. I like winter. I love it, actually. <laughs> so I'm just writing my, my, um, my, my realization or my revelation for this piece down here. Um, you know, as I said about unity. Nothing much with regards to embellishment. Uh, using some alpha stickers to write down the word blessed um, in in Proverbs or Psalms. I'm not sure I'll have to go check up. It says that You know when when brothers dwell together in unity um, There is the blessing of the Lord um, And you can go check me on this. So I, I You know, I, I really from this page realized that unity equals blessing, but it's not unity 
amongst just one another. It's that triangle. It's that triangle of unity amongst one another and unity with God. Um, so I'm writing out the word blessed. You'll see me do some surgery on a C there to make it an E. I want to show you that you can use up your stash. Do it. You don't have to buy all the newest things. Um, use up your stash. This stash is really from the year 1999. When I was in the States, I got it there. Um, and so I felt a bit, that top part was a bit empty. So I added what I would hope looked like birds flying away. <laughs> scattering amongst the earth and that's it for this page enjoying my cuppa <laughs> hope i'll see you again soon do subscribe to the channel uh, do click the notification but button so you can get some more videos bye bye